Hey guys, Havasulu out in Lake Havasu. Hey, we're out here checking out a RV garage pool home that was just listed. Hang out, check it out too, and I'll talk to you in a minute. All right guys, this is 1480 Park Terrace Avenue on the lake side of the highway. Super desirable area. This one was just listed about a week ago for 750. Sits on a nice 13,000 square foot lot. So you don't typically find any junk in this neighborhood. It's popular because it's on the lake side of the highway. So you either live here, you're lost, or you're on the way to the launch ramp, which is right down the street to Windsor Launch. We might be doing a voiceover on this one. I think there's people here, so let's go on in and check it out. Have a cool little stamped concrete walkway, all nicely landscaped, nice courtyard. All right, guys, this is a three bedroom, two bath pool home built in 2002. 1,809 square feet. Again, sits on a nice 13,000 square foot lot on the lake side of the highway. It's just listed for 750. So this also has a den that can be used as a fourth bedroom. Uh, can't be calling it a bedroom in the MLS because it does not have a closet, but definitely could be a bedroom. So you have the den here to the left and then off the entry, you have your garage access and indoor laundry, which we'll get to in a minute. So this is the den potential fourth bedroom. It has a ceiling fan. It's not huge, but you can definitely put a bed in here. It has glass double doors, nice open living area, vaulted ceilings, rear kitchen, you have a little dining area. Granite tops on the kitchen. Has can lights. Got a walk-in pantry. Has a real nice shot of the pool out the kitchen window. Of course, there is a slider out to the backyard pool area. So this is a split floor plan. So you have the master on one side and the guest bedrooms on the other. So this is your master. Has a door out to the backyard pool area. So you have a pretty big master bath. It's like quartz tops, dual sink, skylight, big jetted tub. You have a walk-in shower, all tile. And there's also a decent sized walk-in closet. So there's your skylight and the toilet does not have its own door. All right, let's go check out the other side of the house. So you have a little hall closet and guest bedroom number one at the rear of the house. It's like this is all two by six construction, so there's a lot more R value insulation in the walls. So you have your guest bathroom in the middle of the hall. Looks like a granite top on this one. 
glass door on the shower. You also have some storage, which is good. And then you have guest bedroom number two at the front of the house. It's nice and bright in here. You even have a little peekaboo lake view out the window here. I'll show you in a second. So there's your little peekaboo lake view from the desk in the second guest bedroom. All right, let's go check out the garage and the pool area. All right, so you have your indoor laundry off the entry and access to the garage. All right, so you have your garage set up with a two car garage that's 19 feet deep, eight foot door. And then you have a 35 foot bay and a 55 foot bay. The RV garage has a 13 foot door. They're both insulated. There is a little bit of a grade on this one. I don't know if you can see this in the video, but it drops down a little bit. So it's not exactly flat. So there are full hookups. Looks like a 50 amp clean out water. There is a swamp cooler back here. And the JC Tritune is actually for sale outside of escrow. If anybody's interested in that, I guess. Then you have your water heater, soft water, reverse osmosis, some storage. All right, let's go check out the pool. All right, so you have a real nice backyard pool set up, full length covered patio with uh, awnings, ceiling fans. There's also a view deck on the RV garage on this one. They have a built-in barbecue area. It's all tile and stucco. Looks like they have two grills. There's a little fridge. No water though, there is power. So the pool's real nice, has pop-up cleaners. Really nicely landscaped. This does kind of back to the 95, but uh, there's a big wall. You can't hear too much, surprisingly. So a lot of nice uh, flagstone work back here. Ball looks like it's in good condition. Looks like they just recently did the uh, cool deck. Looks like it's in very good condition as well. This little table to hang out at. So they did the patio all the way to the end over here. Some artificial turf. Guess we have to go up and see what the view looks like, huh? So I didn't notice it before, but there is a little drive-through rear bay in the RV garage. You have a uh, concrete side access. This is the big swamp cooler and a little gate. And they have rain gutters on their house, which is unique. All right, let's go see what the view looks like. So there's Palo Verde and Highway 95, if you're familiar with the area. This is a shot down to Windsor Launch, of course. The roof looks like it's uh, in good condition. Looks like they have a fresh coat of Last America on here. All right, this is what the view looks like from the view deck. Pretty panoramic. I think the view decks are cool, but it, to me, it's kind of one of those things that you would 
use once or twice and then never come back up here. But, you know, who knows? Also just notice it looks like they have a radiator style pool heater on the top of the roof there. Not sure if it works or not. Hey guys, Havasu Lou back again with you. Hope you enjoyed the quick little video walk through the house over here on Park Terrace. Again, this one was just listed about a week ago for $7.50. I'll put a direct link to the listing detail page or right below this video so you guys can get all the original listing pictures, current price, and availability. Of course, if you guys have any questions at all, always feel free to reach out to me. All my contact information is right below this video. You guys have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon.